Hey guys, I want to do a cool programming language I just found out about called ML. This is something Facebook made and very similar to OCaml, the syntax is. Um, and it actually, you can make JavaScript with this thing. So, how it works at all. Um, but you can, even better, you can write React with this. Um, so a little Hello World program I made with this and what it looks like. So in their quick start here, um, you can get some reason uh, React application, which I recommend. It's super, um, this is I, I've really been interested in functional programming with uh, front end stuff. So I tried out Elm, and Elm was really cool. And I really like this. And I really like that this works with React, and it's actually works React libraries too, like Redux and stuff. So I just install. The, as you see, the quick start is very easy to get set up. We and then we just do. We want to. I want to create a Reason React app, so I sp init, um, and then I just have the code. So here is what the code looks like. This is a component I wrote. This is absolute gibberish to you guys if you've never seen Reason. I'm assuming maybe you haven't, but let me just break it down to you. Um, it's not too bad when you get used to it, and it's actually really cool. Um, so here we're basically just naming a component. Uh, I am. I'm really new to this too. So we we're naming the component here. Uh, we can make it a stateful or a stateless. And, like see it auto completes. There's also this stateless. So I use uh, component will mount. This is this is for assuming you can keep the state with stateful and no stations in React. You can create React uh, pure and non pure functions or components in this as well. So I have a stateful component input. Um, and so the render function of this is called well not the render function. But you you make this thing called block called make, and inside of make you can have a where your JSX goes. And notice how we just render JSX this thing, um, or not J. I guess this is not JSX, but this is J this. I don't know what to call this. I guess it's JSX, but like you notice how weird, right? Um, you're used to curly braces probably. What, what this program does is uh, actually very simple. Let me show you actually the example right here. Um, hello world. So it pops up here. So I have an input here, um, and it's calling this update thing, and then on change, and then I am doing an h1 here and displaying the state. So I'm keeping the state. Um, I'm setting the initial state to an empty string. I'm um, going to element, which basically takes the string, and you can't just do strings in a reason uh, where you could just like put the string and it renders an HTML yeah. string to element like this. This update thing, um, as you notice, I call an on change here. This is a function uh, taking two parameters, structuring. Um, we don't actually need the state. Uh, notice both of these are uh, this uh, green. One of them that is standard practice and reason to uh, if you're not going to use that parameter. So people know it exists. Um, and I mean, this is Visual Studio Code I have open right here, and you can see it through the types of everything. So that's pretty nice. So also the nice thing about this is if it compiles, it works. Compiler is very strict, um, and it has static typing and inference and a lot of cool stuff. So, but onto the on chain file, it takes an event, kind of similar to uh, this thing right here, is uh, me calling comment and uh, reason. But it, it's me calling target dot value, right? Okay, so that's how you reason. I just did uh, commands. Visual Studio Code auto completed it for me. Um, all right, so our update we're calling this update how we want to update the state. So yeah, this reason update is up, and we're passing it this big thing. This big thing here is a string. String here or this this block of code is event dot target dot value. But you can see it's really ugly. I had to tell you how to get the value of it. But look at that. That's nasty, right? That's pretty gross. Um, but this is like getting a class, I believe, is double hash. Um, this looks this looks really foreign to me. But whenever we're typing, we call this unchanged functions with upstate, and the state's getting rendered here. But you can notice this is me destructuring again. Props getting passed here. So pretty cool stuff. So I just this and I want to show you how you run it too. It's kind of. I actually have three tabs open right now. The first tab here, I am start in this folder, which takes this takes it 
turns it into JavaScript, I believe. Um, and then here, um, npm running, and I think it takes the JavaScript that we created, and does and, like Webpack does its thing, right? Where it many things that Webpack needs to do. I actually don't know Webpack that much myself. And then over here, to open this up, it's actually not running on open, and just open this guy, this file, and uh, just how this is pointed at a file right here. As it's not running on a server, so that's kind of interesting. Um, yeah, but that is reason. Uh, pretty cool stuff. I want to spend more time on it, um, but I'm a much as opposed to JavaScript and a project right now in JavaScript, so I want to actually finish it. And I'm writing JavaScript if I start writing more. This looks really cool to me. This is the stuff that I really like. Um, but I might be doing more of this in the future. Like right now, kind of tasting it and uh, I'm not going to do too much here. I can see myself getting really into this because rather than uh, Elm is I, I like Elm and I want to do more with it but uh, I like that this works with all the React libraries um, so that's pretty cool. You need to do a little bit more work. I'm pro I, like, I, haven't, I haven't actually done it myself but I've heard you can and I, I, I'm sure it's a little bit more work to get to work with the libraries. I think that's pretty cool. So that's it for this video, guys. Just wanted to kind of show you this. Um, I recommend trying it out. It's pretty cool. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you next video.